Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to open eyes in Photoshop. I'm Amber with Amber Joy Photography and I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to open the eyes without doing too much advanced work. It's very easy for beginners so just follow along. Um, the things that you'll need or are either Adobe Photoshop Elements or CS2 and, and higher versions um, just as long as you have a clone stamp tool because that's what we're going to be using. Also you're going to need two images, one that has your subject's eyes that are open, one that has your subject's eyes that you're trying to fix obviously. So I will be stamping with my clone stamp from the other image that I have of her eyes open. Because for whatever reason this happens to all of us, we find an image or we take an image and we're totally bummed out because it would have been perfect if their eyes were open, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clone stamp over her eyes. I'm going to lay a brush right over just the eye. You can kind of see what I've selected over here. It's a little bit more than I probably want to go after because I do use a soft brush. You can actually um, use a harder brush if, if you want and then you can kind of clean up the edges. This is just what I'm going to do today. I have the opacity and the flow set to 100%. So then I just switch over to the other image and I lay her eye over the eye that's closed. Um, and I line up the tear ducts and that kind of gives me a good idea of where the placement of her eye should be, kind of as a guide. But you also want it to be even on their face because it is a different expression in the eyes that I'm using. Her face is actually turned at an angle so it might look a little different. So I also got to take into consideration the actual placement on her face. So before I actually stamp it I'm going to um, control J in layer so I'm doing this in a non-destructive way on her on her face um, or her the image rather because you don't want to hurt the image okay so here I go I'm just going to stamp that on there and it should put a good coverage amount over her eye coverage meaning just like it should be enough that you can't see any behind her coming through bleeding through okay so if you're having problems with that and the clone stamp then you might want to have um, a harder brush so you're not feathering out and go out but I think that's good enough for me for right now. So then I'm going to come back over the other image and do the same thing. Alt click, bring it over to the first image, lay it over the top, kind of figure out where I'm going to put it right, somewhere right about there, maybe a little bit lower, kind of right there. It's like she's winking at us. This is my gorgeous intern Hillary, so I hope she don't mind that I'm putting her on display. <laughs> And this, this is also before I do any editing of the image. These, these images are a little bright, but I try to get all of my, um, you know, correcting done before I go ahead and I mess with any adjustments as far as the levels and whatnot. So now you guys can see the eyes are in place. Okay, so I added a layer mask. That way if I did bring anything over from this other image on the clone stamp, I can just easily paint it back. You can do the same thing if you cut, uh, cut and paste the eyes over. I just like doing the clone stamp so I don't have as many steps. I just basically click and, and bring it over. So now I'm just going to select my brush tool which the shortcut is B on there. I'm going to make sure that my foreground is set to black because my layer mask is in white. And then I'm just going to kind of gingerly paint off what I want to be feathered. And as long as you're happy with it, I mean I could like bring her right eye up just a little bit so it doesn't look like it's too much of a weird, weird angle. I'm happy with it. And that pretty much completes that tutorial. So I wish you good luck. You can also do this with scanning in an image if you don't have the other images or if you need a more advanced tutorial or if you, if you have a stronger question just write it in the comment box and I will be happy to answer and I can create another one. But I hope this helped you and good luck. Thanks for watching.